and a lot of people are doing it this weekend and they've had really great weather uh, to get out and do that. And it's going to change a little bit at the beginning of the week, but uh, all in all, not too bad. Yeah, that's right, Tom. Not too bad at all. It's going to feel more like the season, but we've been spoiled for the month of November so far. It's been very warm. We'll see how we wrap it up here in the coming days, but we'll kick off tomorrow with some sunshine and temperatures, mainly in the mid to upper 30s near the lakefront and wrap up the afternoon with more cloud cover, but highs into the upper 40s by tomorrow afternoon. Still no precipitation for us for tomorrow, but that's going to change by the time we get into Monday, at least for some of us, especially near the lakefront. And we're sitting at 43 Three in Milwaukee. We've got a southwesterly wind now at 10 miles per hour. It's 39 in Waukesha, also 39 here in Brookfield at the Storm Chaser, 45 in Port Washington. And Sheboygan's checking in at 46. Got some upper 30s now in Watertown. Our cold front still slowly working its way through North Dakota and South Dakota, but no rain, no snow on the map, at least for now. Temperatures are going to be dipping down into the 30s and the 20s during the nighttime hours. And with the winds on the gusty side at times, that's going to push our wind chill values down into the 20s by tomorrow night. But by Monday morning, they're going to feel it's going to feel like like it's into the single digits and low teens. Now, tomorrow night, we're going to start to see an increase in our cloud cover. We're going to be tracking a system just to our east that's going to give us a good chance of possibly seeing some flurries, especially as we get into Monday around midday. So tomorrow's going to be dry. We'll wrap up the afternoon with more cloud cover, but watch what happens close to the lakefront. Once you get into a Milwaukee County, Racine and Kenosha County, and even the extreme southern half of Ozaki County, you could see some light snow and some flurry activity. Not expecting any accumulation out of this, but don't be surprised if you see that getting into Monday afternoon. Tomorrow, though, looks great for the Packers game. A mostly clear sky to start, but more clouds pushing in towards kickoff time, and that's when those temperatures will start to dip down into the 30s. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. It's going to be a lot colder from here. 48 for tomorrow, 20s headed your way during the overnight hours, just about each night over the next coming week and highs only into the upper 30s and lower 40s with chances for flurries not only on Monday, but also on Thursday as well.